Hi, it's Corrine, and I was recently asked a question of how to add your own picture to a frame that is a PNG file. So I opened one here on my Cameo, and this is a Polaroid frame that I got a long time ago in an element pack that I purchased online, and it is a PNG file. So I'm going to show how to do that quickly. If you go and turn on your cut lines, you will see there are no cut lines around this, and that is the case with PNG files. So we need to add our own cut lines. So go up to your open trace window. You wanna select trace area. Go ahead and draw a box around your frame. Over here, you wanna uncheck the high pass filter and under threshold, you wanna drag that all the way up to 100%. And this is exactly what we're looking for. We want it to be a solid yellow box. So now we have three choices. We can select trace, trace outer edge, or trace and detach, which we will trace and detach ourselves. If we select trace outer edge, it will do just that. It will trace just the outer edge. We want it to trace this inside edge as well. So I'm going to select trace, and when I move aside my Polaroid frame, you will see we have a perfect frame. It's a perfect trace on it. So now what we wanna do, we're gonna be adding our own picture to the center. The first thing we need to do is right click on this and release the compound path. You wanna think of a compound path as putting like the hole in the center of a donut. By having it as a compound path, it's one piece that's going to cut a hole in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and release that because we want to use this outside frame. So now what we have are basically two rectangles or a rectangle and a square, essentially. This is the square and then the rectangle on the outside. It's gonna cut two squares, but by having it as a rectangle path, it's going to cut it as a Polaroid frame. So let me move that back because I wanna leave it where it was. What I wanna do is grab this center piece and go down here to duplicate. You can also right click and duplicate. And let me go ahead and move that out of the way. I wanna work only with this piece for now. This is the trace of our frame. I wanna go ahead and grab those two, select, or excuse me, right click and select make compound path. That way I put it back to the way it was and I'll move it aside for now. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a photo to this. I do have a more detailed video showing how to do that in different shapes. Check on my channel under the playlist Silhouette Basics and you'll find how to add photos to different shapes. So I'm just gonna quickly do it here, but like I said, there is a more detailed video on that. You wanna go up to File, select Merge. I'm going to just choose a photo and drag it right into that shape that I want. I'm gonna select Cancel and now I have my picture in the frame. So the next thing I wanna do is, being that I still want the file to look the way it did, the frame to look the way it did, I'm going to grab my traced frame and my frame, go up to center, and I want to group those together, okay? So now I have my, let me turn my cut lines back on. I have my Polaroid frame, and as you can see, I have my cut lines around it, just like we want. Okay, so let me shut that off for a moment. Next thing I wanna do is grab my photo and my frame, go back up to the center align window and select center. It's gonna put it right in the middle, which obviously we don't want it right in the middle. So once it's, now that I know it's centered from left to right, just go ahead and highlight your photo and with your arrow key, go ahead and move it up until it fits perfectly in that frame. Okay, now that it's in that frame, go ahead and select all of it and group it together and now we can move it without have to, having to worry about the picture go, moving around. The last thing you wanna do is go back up to your cut lines and select cut edge, because as it stands right now, it will cut out the picture, which sort of defeats the purpose of adding our picture to the frame. We don't want it to cut the picture out. We want it to print and cut out the outside of the frame. So just select cut edge, and now, it will cut only the outside of our frame. So the next thing we would want to do is go and turn on our registration marks. Let me zoom out. These are our registration lines. Size it however you would wanna size it. And then select printer, print it out and cut it out. If you don't know how to use print and cut, I also have a detailed video on that, again, in my playlist. So I hope this helps answer your question. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.